This is going to be fast. Uh, the pan is already hot. And uh, I hope I don't spill this oil. Come over here. Virgin olive oil. There you go. And this is everything. The hardest part of this is just cutting everything up, getting everything ready. Heirloom tomatoes, they're so delicious. Came out of the garden. Fresh garlic cloves, onions, uh, anchovy fillets, zucchini out of the garden also. And out of the garden, some fresh basil leaves. They're not tremendous leaves, but they're fresh. And now we just go in there. And the zucchini, I mean the uh, anchovies, will dissolve with the heat. You won't see any of it. All you do is just taste it. That's why I didn't put that much salt in there because we know that uh, anchovies are salty. So. Notice I'm using a wooden spoon so if I bang, you hardly hear it. Too many people have complained. Now turn it up to high. This is only going to take a few minutes. The penny pasta is all ready. And I didn't make a lot of pasta. The fish is mainly the vegetables. Just drained and unwashed. Because I'm going to add this to this mix as soon as it's done. And if I wash the penne, will make everything wet. Very important step that you should not do is wash off pasta at any time. Doesn't matter what you're making. Even if you're making a pasta salad. Because it'll turn out being moist. You have how you're gonna get the, the water that you washed it with off of every piece of uh, pasta. Impossible. Now, this is going well, and to quicken it and keep the steam in there, I'm going to put a lid on it. Shut this camera off, no sense in wasting video, and that'll be about two minutes. Now you have a choice. You see how this is? The zucchini is a little firm. Tomatoes aren't all broken up. You can eat it like this, or you can cook it some more. Well, the zucchini is just a little bit too firm, so we're going to cook it some more, but without the cover, because there's a lot of moisture in there. Of course there is. Look how much water is in a tomato. So we'll wait two minutes again. Now, I like al dente. That means the zucchini is ready for me. Tomatoes are just fine. Now we pour, pour, we dump in the unwashed pasta. See, I usually make more pasta than that, but it's really not necessary. Then you have a half a pot of pasta left over. Even this. So that's four and a half ounces, which is still too much for two people. If they're watching their weight. But isn't that nice? Zucchini goes well. <laughs> you can't beat having zucchini, onions, and garlic, and fresh tomato. And these heirlooms have such a nice flavor. And that's it. This is done. See? It's not dry. Not overly wet. Just right. So what do you do? So now you just put the lid on it. Shut it off. <clears throat> push it to the back. 
and in two hours it's part of your dinner. So I hope you enjoy it. Of course the last thing which I forgot the fresh basil. As long as the pasta is hot that basil flavor will permeate through and I like to keep it a little green that's why I add it at the end and when you warm this up you could have waited until you warm it up later but I'm not going to have the camera around later and there you go